Hola, and welcome back to another session of character modeling. This week, we're wrapping up the shirt by adding some working buttons. When we're done, we'll be able to create a realistic shirt where the buttons are partially done up and the collar hangs naturally. So let's get going. To begin, I review a real shirt and look at where the buttons start and end and how many there are. Note the very top button is actually attached to the neckband. So for this tutorial, we'll focus on the main set, which runs down the front pattern. You'll, after this, you'll be able to add that one in easy enough. In the previous episode, we created these internal lines to hold the front patterns together until we make the final buttons. But before we blow them away, they are going to serve as a guide for placing the actual buttons. To create the first button, select the button tool here. To place the first button, double click on the internal line that is the guide for our buttons. Typically it will be the right pattern where the buttons are attached. And remember, this is relative to the characters, the characters right. Okay, so we've got our first button. The next question is how many more buttons do we need? And what's the interval between those buttons? I counted the number of buttons on the front of my example shirt, which is seven. Now to figure out what the interval between buttons should be, Create a second temporary internal line that is the total length you want the buttons to run from start to finish. Now divide the length of this line by the number of additional buttons you want. In this case, I already have one button, so I need six more. The total length that I want the buttons to cover is 49.21 centimeters. The number of extra buttons I need is six, so the interval turns out to be 8.2. Now to create the rest of the buttons. Select the Move button tool, which can be found here. Select the button and choose Copy. Now right click and choose Paste. The button appears with a dotted line connecting it to its parent button. And wherever you drag the button, you'll see that little line follows. Now, still in that mode, right click over the internal line, which is the guide for our buttons, and a dialog box will appear. Now, within this dialog box, interval specifies the space between buttons, and below that, the number of buttons. So, now, we enter 8.2 for the interval, and 6 for the number of buttons, and Bob's your auntie, there you go, we have our buttons perfectly spaced. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. For, for a moment here, deselect the buttons by just clicking in space. And now we want to change, we want to change the, the button type and the size. So we're going to go, first bring up the property editor. And of course, because nothing's selected, there's no properties. However, bear with me for a minute and also bring up the button window, which is, he's kind of appeared off in space here. Now, here's what happens. So right now, the buttons that we've made use the default button. So if we select the default button, we're also selecting all the buttons we've presently got. And then over here, in the property editor, we can change the style next to the, with, under the shape drop down menu, we can change the style to something we'd prefer, voila. We can also change the size of the button. So here it's a little bit big, I'm gonna make it 1.5. And there you go, that looks maybe, maybe it's a little big, but uh, at least you can see them. So I'll leave them at that size for now. Um, of course, we could change the thickness, uh, the weight, which would be your physical properties, how heavy are these buttons? Maybe they're metal and they might be a little heavier, among other things. Um, so carrying on okay so the next thing i'm going to do we've got our buttons we no longer i've got the sim turned off we no longer need the uh the, the sewing on the front panels because we're about to connect these two panels with buttons so i'm going to go up to the edit sewing option grab that and delete sewing on the center line there So there you go, the buttons are no longer actually holding it together. So what we need to do is create button holes and fasten it together with the button. 
So, similar to creating the buttons, we go up to the button tab here, and this time we're going to select button hole. And I'm going to do my best to place this hole so it's it's um, on the same plane as the button itself. So I click there, sorry, double click there, and we have a, a button hole. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, let's see if we can select it. There you go. So there's a, there's our button hole. We've got our buttons and one button hole. So just like we created the buttons, I'm going to copy that, right click paste, and just as we did with the button holes, I'm going to kind of right click on the, uh, the internal line, that's our trap for the buttons, that's giving us the options for interval and, and number of buttons. So we'll set the interval the same as the buttons, 8.2 and also the number of buttonholes, six in this case. It's thinking about it. And voila, we can see it's created these nice buttonholes and they line up nicely with our buttons, eh? That's pretty cool. Not too, wasn't difficult at all. All right, so now what we have left to do is to fasten these buttons. We want to thread the little button physically through the, the buttonhole. It appears to be that way right now, but it's just because these two patterns are stitched, or, you know, haven't, we haven't run the sim, and the, uh, so what we see is the results of the two patterns being stitched together. So now we're going to connect these buttons. And I think what I'm gonna do is just, just to kind of um, bring home the point, I'll leave the top few buttons unbuttoned, right? So we won't connect the top couple of buttons, just um, just the uh, say like let's start from maybe here so with the fasten button tool when we select the fasten button tool we get this I don't know why but we get this sexy see-through preview of our shirt um, way too sexy if you ask me but that's all good um, here we go we're gonna start connecting uh, these buttons just click on the button and then on the button hole with the fasten button tool and it draws these little lines that let you know that they are now fastened. And I think that's all. So let's run this in. And what should happen is, yeah, now, now you can see that the, uh, the top of the collar is no longer connected by the button, but here it is. I'm quite happy with this. Now, you can see how these, these buttons here are kind of hanging down a bit. Um, a bit of a tug on the button itself and it's, it's so weird it is a, it's a physical simulation so for the most part it kind of reacts like the real world which is really cool um, gives you all those little happy accents those nuances of, of real life so you know if you're trying to create a realistic looking character or even a stylized character you know with the realistic clothing like it feels like a real thing but it's stylized yeah marvelous design is pretty cool for that if you'd like a copy of the Marvelous Designer file featured in this video, a link for that is also included in the description. The download includes a version of the male model in both ZBrush and OBJ formats. And finally, please help me out by liking and subscribing. One final thing before I leave you uh, this week is we go need the uh, internal lines that we created uh, to attach our buttons anymore so we can delete those um the reason you want to delete them is that kind of they might create a bit of a crease they're not necessary so we'll just click on that you know with the trusty edit pattern tool selected there click on it hit delete on the uh, second one we're on the sim And Bob's your auntie. And there you, there you go. Uh, one shirt with buttonholes working and kind of left unbuttoned at the top. It very natural. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little kind of walk down uh, the designer making a shirt lane. And uh, with that, till next time, ciao.